Well, as I said in the <coughs> beginning of the seminar uh, five days ago, the, um, um, this seminar is like sex. It all comes at the end. And uh, contrary to what you've uh, been taught in the books that you've read, we talk, the structure of the deals we spend 15 minutes on, period. No more. And if you don't ask any stupid questions, probably five minutes. So all the time that you've spent in your life, he's a classic example, Greg, with his four master's degrees, uh, has been a waste. Because it's that simple. So all the Googling, all the podcasts, all the crap that you've gone through, uh, trying to get ready, and I'm not sure that's the right word, uh, or pre to prepare yourself to go out and, and do deals, and then, uh, of course, we can define deals, and what is a deal, but anyway, um, is, uh, for the most part, been a waste of time. Um, and um, when I'm screaming and yelling in the YouTubes about uh, kids that want a case study, there are no fucking case studies. They're all the same. If cash flow, free cash flow, unencumbered cash flow, does not cover debt service, you don't have a deal. But we talk about that after lunch. We're not talking about it now. The, um, and just to, to, to add a little um, suspense, free cash flow means just what, I, uh, <coughs> what it implies. Not for anything other than it, could, it comes out and there's nobody else don't pay you, don't pay the bank, don't pay Allah. It's just there, unencumbered, unencumbered. But we'll talk about that. Um, we're going to talk about your goals and affirmations, which I've not forgotten. Um, last night you saw Too Big to Fail, I believe. Um, and normally I ask somebody, but I didn't yesterday, because you're so, such a crack team, um, that uh, at the end, when the guy that's playing the Secretary of the Treasury... And he looks out the window, and he was a bird watcher, is a bird watcher, like, you know, watch birds, that thing come out in the movie. Um, uh, he says something to the effect that I hope they lend it out, or I hope they put it out, or I hope they give it out. Meaning that he hopes that the financial institutions would put the money back in the system. Now, we all know several years later, they didn't. Whereas in this part of the world, they would say, they didn't. And as I said, uh, Yesterday and many times before, it's easier to get five million dollars or pounds or whatever the currency than it is to get fifty thousand, because the the banks um, are not and financial institutions are not putting the back the money back in the system like it's supposed to, or they were supposed to, and uh, the way the whole restructuring was uh, made, and so in some cases and in many cases it's it's tougher now than it was before the crisis. It's tougher now than before the crisis. <clears throat> and I don't know if anybody's saying that out there in the seminar world. Uh, I don't want to give a shit. But um, the, uh, it was interesting. I, I went back and I looked at the Joe Rogan thing about me, the little snippet. And it, I came out uh, into the conversation based on they were saying about uh, the word fuck and people that don't give a fuck, etc. cetera. And uh, one, of the, the other, one of his guests said, if you want to see a guy, I mean, who doesn't give a fuck, Tuned to one minute, 31 seconds in, uh, why you're poor. And then they flashed my uh, website up and uh, they didn't play it because uh, Rogan said that, you know, uh, some of the people that they use their material there, they, they go to uh, YouTube and they make them take it down and they, they, they sue them over it. But it was interesting that uh, <clears throat> there's not that many people um, that don't give a fuck. Um, arguably, I'm the only real one that doesn't give a fuck, which I found it interesting. And again, uh, Joe Rogan, uh, uh, you can use my shit on, on YouTube. I don't give a, give a damn. And uh, for those of you that want to see it, on him play it and comment on it, just uh, you can uh, email him or tweet him or whatever. But um, the um, because virtually everybody cares about what other people think of them. Virtually everybody has got something to sell you. So they don't call you an idiot. They don't call you what you uh, really are. Uh, and then you've had a whole lifetime of that, starting with your parents. Uh, we saw Forrest Gump, a little clip from Forrest Gump, 
And his mother knew that uh, he had a 70 IQ or 75 IQ. And when she was begging the uh, schoolmaster, uh, 80 IQ was the minimum that uh, you could be kept in a regular school. So she, um, she uh, bats her eyes and says, was there anything else we can do? Uh, and then uh, later on, uh, they show uh, the headmaster coming out of the, uh, the Gump household after hearing this, uh, and then Forrest imitates him, because <laughs> he's had, had sex with his mom, and the headmaster says, boy, she really wanted him to go and be in a regular school. Um, but um, even for you that perhaps have higher than 75 IQs, um, your parents didn't tell you, your, uh, for the most part, your shortcomings. Um, and, they, uh, and, and so th th we are where we are. Now, um, some of you still have not picked up your kilt for the graduation. If you don't wear a kilt tonight, don't come. I'm going to say it again. Don't fucking come. Does everybody understand what I just said? Don't fucking come. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred pounds dollars like you're playing Monopoly. And if you're that simple fucking minded to follow that simple instruction, let's ask yourself why you are where you are today. Okay. Um, the um, some some of the uh, um, no death threats yesterday in YouTube. Uh, they seem to be pacified for some reason. Um, uh, not that I give a shit, but the, uh, it makes it a little more, a little more amusing for me when, when I get the death threats. Again, they were poking each other, uh, which is you know fine. Uh, we will um, do a couple more role plays, and again, I do the, all the role plays now because I want you to leave with a positive uh, recall of how to do these things with the the various institutions, the chairman, etc., as opposed to you practicing um, with um, each other. But it will take you time, except for the rare exception that you guys have given pitches to financial institutions, etc., and you're uh, more poised and you've had success. Uh, most of the people that have given uh, pitches to financial institutions, including the YouTube uh, followers, have not had success. And, and they didn't get what they wanted, i.e. they didn't get any money. So they say, and they extend the myth, that there is no money out there. Well, there is no money out there based on their experience because they didn't do it right. They didn't put the financial institution in the position where you had the right information, given it to a, a decision maker. Remember I said most financial presentations to, by the neophytes are given to the wrong person who can't make a decision anyway. So that just extends the myth that there's no money out there um, for uh, uh, transactions. I was talking to one of you <clears throat> in your, uh, the free time yesterday who is a professional or has had professional experience for several years of uh, giving uh, the um, presentations to the right person uh, or the right group of persons. And uh, he said, uh, with no qualifications or reservations, the money's there, the deals are there, et cetera, et cetera which is not news to me. It's not like, you know, I, I got hit by a lightning bolt, Ben. Uh, the, it's, it's there, and he will attest to it's there. But he's been successful at it. If he had been out there uh, for five or ten years and nobody ever funded any of his fucking deals, he probably would think, well, there's no fucking money. But uh, the, the people that have been out there giving presentations, um, there is money, there's plenty of money, there's an abundance of money if the deals are structured properly, and if it's a real deal. Um, most of the YouTube, and not just the YouTube, but the general populace that are trying to get deals done, one, the deal's not a deal. To me, when I say it's a deal, it's because it makes sense to somebody other than me. Okay, most of the things um, that are, um, you search for finance, they're not. That's why the primary finance for uh, uh, companies or ideas to get started are friends, fools, and family. Friends, fools, and family. Uh, and, uh, and your own credit cards. Um, and then when you run out of friends, fools, and family, uh, the deal dies. The deal dies. I tell you that, I don't even mention those. 
they're not even the last resort. The last resort to me is uh, uh, private equity, and um, now the last resort is crowdfunding, and I've never done a crowdfunding deal, as I said, because uh, everything that we've ever uh, tried to do, we were able to find finance. Um, and so I'm no expert on crowdfunding, although I know that everybody from Tom Cruise for movies, etc., cetera, uh, uses it. Every, I don't mean everybody, not everybody, but I mean a lot, a lot of people. Uh, what's the takeaway about the movie? Yep, Matthew. They really didn't, they don't have control over our financial system. Like they think they were updated. And did you notice how even the CEOs of all those big banks had pride of authorship? They didn't want to close their bank. You know, and, um, and uh, Tom, uh, Woods, the actor who played this head of, uh, was it Lehman? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, uh, he cried like a baby. Well, I mean, when they closed. And then, of course, when only one, one got closed down, essentially, and then the other guys uh, uh, dodged a bullet. And I remember the CEO of Wells Fargo who said, we don't want your money. I don't need your money. You can't make me take your money. Or words to that effect. And uh, so, uh, um, what, what, anything else? It reminds me of you, in a sense, when you went into this low stage. Yeah. 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 I did it before he did it, but the, uh, <laughs> and you do whatever's necessary. I mean, I, I, I know of a, I'll, I'll tell you how a movie got funded, a very popular movie, when we're not on YouTube, because the actors are still, some of them are still alive, that, um, some of the actresses um, did whatever it took to get a part in that movie. Literally did whatever it took. And the casting couch is still alive and well, kids. So if you're from Kansas and you're a good looking girl with big fucking tits and a nice ass, you can get in the movie too. No question. That's the fourth guarantee of this seminar. <laughs> Absolutely, you know? By the way, a little, about 20,000 kids go to Hollywood every year make it in the movies. One out of 20,000 makes it. One. And um, because that's a tough business. It's ex arguably, it's the toughest, dirtiest, slimiest business of them all. Because at least prostitutes take the money right there to get, you know, to fuck you. Uh, the, uh, and, and the, the, the entertainment industry is analogous to that slide from a couple of days ago. You're pregnant, but how many times did you get fucked? You know, and um, but it's um, it's a tough business. You were going to say something about the movie. I was just going to say something else that came out was there's incredible. Well, a lot of stuff comes out of your mouth, so I, I yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, the whole system is very complex, and that there's a lot of intertwined relationships between <clears throat> the banks, and if one has a problem, that can spread very easily. Yeah, and um, I would let the banks go down if I had, been, you know. Been the president, been the secretary of treasury, I would have let them go down because I believe in the free market system. <clears throat> and we would have survived. Uh, for those that are um, students of history, the bank uh, banking crisis of 1907 and uh, the banking crisis of 1874, and there's a whole <laughs> bunch of times, <clears throat> not a whole bunch, half a dozen times, that that's happened over the last couple hundred years. And uh, the government didn't step in and fucking save anybody, and, and uh, the world survived. YouTube, we'll see you at lunch. Thank you very much.